Once you pick your main color of the bag that you want, we'll be going to change um, 45. So change 45. Once you have your 45 stitch change, we'll be going to single crochet into the third stitch down here. So skip the first two into the third one. We're gonna do single crochet and do single crochet and each stitch all the way to the end. I'm finish up my last stitch out over here for my first row. So I'm changing two when I reach the end. Then flip my work around. Instead of crochet in the first stitch, we're gonna go to the next one, to the second one, and do single crochet. And do single crochet this pattern over and over till you have total of rows of total of 28. So 28 rows of single crochet. And I'll meet you when I have mine. So I just finished my 28 uh, rows of single crochet. So this is what mine look like for my first bag, which is gonna be the strawberry one. So that's this one. Um, so let's start the second one, the second bag, which is gonna be this one, the flower one. So get your second yarn and then choose the main color that you want your second to be. I'm using a purple again because I just love purple and pink. So I'm using right the now same I'm working color on my and then it's bag. basically a same pattern. And I'm so you're just gonna change um like 40, from 45 from the, the beginning so and do single crochet and each stitch till you have um, rows of and all the way to eight just like this pattern and rows of single crochet of 28 other patterns to the flower bag so just keep doing the same pattern till you make the second bag and i'll meet you when i have mine i just finished my second bag my main color that i want the bag to be so this is what it might look like when I finish. And now what we're gonna do is making the ruffles, this cute ruffles down here. That's what we're gonna do. So choose your second color that you want to go around the square. So choose that and let's get started on the ruffles. Before we start making our ruffles, I just have the one little tip that I want to tell you guys. So I use it before I make the ruffles and all like crochet all the way around i like to like stretch it both ways so this stretch the pattern sometimes it helps to make it a little bit wider to the side a little bit longer too so this stretch it before then you're gonna put your pattern facing up and down like this just like mine then you're gonna fold it not all the way but just so that the top will be covering and the thing to look like this just like mine that's how it's gonna look 
end up here on the top that's where we're gonna make our ruffles so grab your second yarn that you want to use um and let's start so i use i use it like slip the yarn in the corner over here i'm gonna slip my yarn through i like to tie the yarn to keep it so it doesn't come out you do whatever it feels comfortable for you i'm just gonna tie it here to keep it after that grab the yarn and you're gonna change three then into the same stitch that we put a slip stitch down here we're gonna do double crochet into it to the same stitch the next stitch over here we're gonna do three double crochet into the same stitch and three double crochet into the next stitch same and just keep doing this three double crochet into the same stitch all the way to right here all the way to the end here the end of the thing this is how the pattern is we're gonna do three double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end here and i'll meet you here So I'm into my last stitch here. I'm gonna do three half double I mean double crochet into it just like that. So I just finished it. My ruffles to yours should look like this is what your ruffle look like. So this is how the bag now look like this, and this will be folding like this, and your ruffle will be like this. Alright, now what we're gonna do next is gonna do uh, we're gonna do crochet like single crochet around it on the whole um square so we're just gonna do single crochet for the rest so let's continue to the next stitch over here we're just gonna do single crochet into it okay. all right to the next stitch here we're gonna do single crochet and do single crochet into the rest of the stitch starting from sorry going from here all the way to here and i'll meet you right at the end here in the corner so single crochet in each stitch okay i'm into my last stitch which is the corner down here so into the corner i want to do two single crochet into it so the corner is here so that's one and i'm going to do one more just go to, go to two into the corner then i'm just going to continue single crochet into the each stitch So just keep doing this pattern so you're gonna continue doing single crochet all from here all the way to here once you reach the corner you're gonna do single excuse me you're gonna do two single crochet into it just like you did from here so two single crochet into the corner down here after that you're gonna continue just keep doing single crochet single crochet all the way here till you reach all the way down here then I'll meet you when I'm over here. So just keep doing the same pattern all the way to the here. All the way where we started. Come back where we started. Just came back where I started. So I'm going to continue to do one more single crochet into this last stitch. Up here. Then I'm just going to slip. Um, slip stitch into the sack into the second chain that we did from the beginning the third chain that we did so just slip stitch 
after that I'm just gonna scissor and cut the yarn off and pretty much we are done with the main pattern so what you want to do next is to your second bag the other one the flower one over here you're gonna do same thing same pattern you're gonna start with the ruffles and do single crochet all the way to the end and finish it just like you did with the strawberry one or whichever you start with you're gonna do the same thing so just do the same pattern into your second pattern where you start the ruffles and then i'll meet you guys when i have my second one I just finished up with my second pattern, making the ruffles and sewing the sing and doing single crochet all the way to the square around the square. So now what our second pattern will it's going to be is sewing the square the square together. So rem remember to have well just find needle and a yarn. So you're gonna you you want to use the same color yarn that you saw at the edge that's what you're gonna use so grab whatever you need and then i'll show you how to sew the square together okay for ours to sew our square we want to make sure that the edge is equal so it's the, like the same just make sure that looks pretty much equal like this you can pull however you want and however you want your top to be laying how much you want the top to be laying i just want my little bit so i'm not gonna do that much so this is not for me you can do whatever you want on your pattern so once you figure it out and just make sure yours look like mine the the folding look like mine and you grab your needle and what we're going to do is we're gonna sew this edge together so I'm just going to stick my needles too. You can sew however you want, but I like doing this way. I'm just going to tie the yarn against the pattern because I like this way. It doesn't come off. Um, And now what we're going to do, let me make sure it's equal. Just make sure before you sew it, make sure it's the way you want it before you sew it. Because if you so you can't redo it so okay i think i got it so once you figure it out you're gonna just grab this piece of this side the first side and go into the second side the needle sew it so just grab the piece of each side onto the other side and sew it Again, you can do whatever you want. But I'm just going to sew this together. So you're just going to sew this edge all the way to here, where it stopped down here. That's where you're going to stop. And if you want to go to the next, um next step which is sewing this size too it's just the same thing you're just gonna sew this side together same thing on this side don't sew this side but only this side right here so this is where we want this to open so we're just gonna sew the edge I just finished this edge already, so I have this edge to go. So this is what mine looks like when I sew it together to show you guys. And now I'm starting to sew the other edge. The last one that I have. And make sure just make sure that everything's laced 
um, lay the way you want it before you sew it. I finished it, um, sewing both my edges together. So this is to might look like after that. You can, as you can see, simple stuff in now. So just do same thing to your other pattern, your strawberry one or your flower, and whichever you start with. So I'm gonna do same thing into my to my strawberry. I'm gonna sew the edge together, just same thing, and then I'll meet you. When I have my strawberry sewed together, this is what my bag looked like when I finished sewing both of the edges together. Um, I finished this one, so this one is good to go, and I finished my strawberry one. Now, what we want to do, our next step is we're gonna make the strawberry to go for on this one. So grab a red yarn. To make our strawberry, we first we're gonna start with the magic ring. Then change three. After that, we're gonna do four double crochet into the ring. Don't cut the first one as the first stitch. This is the second one as the first stitch. So I have two and I need two more. I will not count this one. I'm counting this one and that one. After you have your four double crochet into the ring, next is you're gonna do three more double crochet into the ring, half. Three half double crochet into the ring. After three half double crochet, you're gonna do one double crochet into the ring. Next, you're gonna do three half double crochet into the ring. Next, do two double crochet into the ring. Next is you're going to do one triple crochet into the ring. The next one you're going to do two double crochet into the ring. Then you're going to do one single crochet into the ring. And you can cut your yarn off after that just knit the end tight and then I just usually tie this with my first uh, tail just tie them together at the back This is how the strawberry look like. It looks like a heart, but it won't look like a heart after. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time. You need to make three of them. So we made one and we need to make two. So I'll show you guys one more time how to make make it. I'm making my second strawberry. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time how to do it. So we make a ring, magic ring. Then change three. I'm going to do um, four double crochet into the ring. Then 
Next, you're gonna do three half double crochet into the ring. After you have your, hold on, one more. So you have your three half double crochet into the ring, you're gonna do one double crochet into the ring. Next, we're gonna do three more half double crochet into the ring. Then two more double crochet into the ring. Okay, and then we're gonna do one triple crochet. So this is how you do triple crochet for those who doesn't know. So you're gonna wrap the yarn around your hook twice. So this is one and two, and that's how you're gonna do triple crochet. Then you're gonna just continue one and two and three. Then the next, you're gonna do two double crochet into the ring. After that, one single crochet into the ring. You want your scissor and cut off the yarn. And I just use these two um, tails together and just tie it. Don't forget to tie this first. And this is pretty much how you make the strawberry. Um, then you need to make uh, one more. So you need to have a three. And then I'll need to when I have my three strawberry made. So here is my three little strawberry that I finished. It looks like a heart, but it's okay. It will not look like a heart after we make the leaf for it. So the next step we'll be making the leaf. So just leave this aside and we're gonna make the strawberry leaf. So we're just going to make another um, magic ring again. Just make magic ring. Then change five this time. What we're going to do, we're going to go single crochet into the ring. After that, change five. One, two, three, five. And another single crochet. Next, change five again. And single crochet. Next one, change five. And single crochet. Well, just keep doing this pattern till you have a total of five of these little leaf things one two three four and then you i just need one more so keep doing till you have to allow five All right, now we're gonna slip stitch all the way at the bottom here, kinda hard, but we're gonna slip stitch all like the last stitch down here. That's why we're gonna do a slip stitch. So like this, there we go. And cut off the yarn. And make sure to tighten this. And I like to tie the dead ends together, so I'm just gonna tie them to finish it to look really nice. cut it off well this is the leaf will look like it's really simple and cute and easy to make just gonna go on a strawberry like this now the strawberry look like a strawberry it doesn't look like heart anymore so we're gonna make three more of these just the same pattern 
just make three of them and dub me too when I have mine. Oh, well, here is my strawberry that I just finished. I finished making the three leaf for each. And now where our next step is gonna be making the white thing look like a strawberry, I guess. Don't wanna so like the thing look like a strawberry. So that's what we're gonna do next. So you just grab the white color. You can use yellow or white, whatever color you want. Um, but I'm using the white. I'm just gonna so grab one of my um, strawberry and then just mix so with like spot. onto it I don't know but you can do however the way you want it and you're gonna do this to the both strawberry I mean the three of them that you have and just make it you don't have to sew this on you can just leave it like that When you sew it, don't pull it the yarn too tight but you, because if you pull it too tight, you can't see it. So this little bit loosen up so you can see the color in it. Oops. So I'm going to do this to my two that I have. And then I'll, we will go to the next step. I just finished sewing all the white stuff against my strawberry. So this is what it look like when I sew the white stuff to it. Our next step will be gluing the strawberry against our bag. So this is the strawberry bag that I'm gonna make. So first, we're gonna lay the strawberry, the red one first, like the strawberry sideways. Before you glue it, just make sure you lay them and look at them and see if if the white right way that you want it before you glue it on, because you can't take it off after that. So I'm gonna put the it's kind of like a red heart, but it's not. But I'm gonna place it like a little bit sideways, not straight. Don't do a straight, but do a little bit sideways and facing different. See. No, so I don't want to get to the middle one. I don't want to get too close to the ruffles because we're going to put a button right here. So you don't want your strawberry to be here close. I'm going to be a little bit further so the button can go right here. After that, I will glue this on first. Then I will put the leaves on the top. After glue it on and I will put the leaf and figure out the way I wanted the leaf to be. I will put it, let's see. Then do same thing to the leaf by gluing it against the strawberry and the bag. And use hot glue. This is what am I gonna look like? Um, I'm gonna go glue mine first and then I'll come back and show you guys what mine look like. And we can go to the next bag. Here's my strawberry after I glue it. This is what mine look like here over here. It's all pretty clean and then it's pretty much what it look like. So we just finished up the strawberry bag. The only thing you need to do on this one is sewing the just sew um oh uh, buttons on it. So just like this one here. So you need to sew a buttons on it on yours. But otherwise after the button you're pretty much done with the strawberry bunch strawberry bag and I'm just almost done we're almost done I'm just gonna show you how I make the flower for our next bag so you need to grab the yarn that you want to use and you need um, a button for our flower bag um, before we start sewing the flower right here we're gonna sew the buttons on first so make sure to find your and your bag make sure to find a center of the bag and place your uh, button and sew it on so i'll try to find mine
Okay, so with your buttons on, once you find the center of the bag, Oh, and also don't forget to like before you sew the buttons on this make sure to find where the top lays so you place where you that's where you're gonna place your buttons I forgot to tell you guys that So I just finished up sewing my buttons so this is my look like and for the holes I use my needles to help me to get a hole to put my buttons through so you pretty much have to do it by yourself and now we're gonna start sewing the flower on this button is gonna help us to center our flower like in the middle one so you can take it off just make sure you wanna sew the flower against this so you might have to hold it like this so does it help a little bit? Put your hand under it. So I have the yarn that I want for my flower. I'm using white again and you need a needle. So you want to double the yarn. Um, and we're just going to start at the bottom. Just make sure it lays nice the way it lays on the thing. So we'll just take it out in the corner here. You can still how we want it. Keep the yarn double together and just you can it doesn't matter how far you go through, but I'm just gonna go a little bit right here, just like this. And make sure your yarn is not twisted either. Mine is starting to twist, so make sure it's not twisted. And we're just going to do going around our circle. So literally just doing sewing around. And always come back to the, this one here. The one right here. Because that's where the, the middle is. I will go. You can go crazy. But always come to the, the middle. So that it makes us look like a flower. I like mine to have less so I think mine is enough but you can always add more in between if you want a bunch I like mine less and see here here is kind of messed up here just fix this all right I think I'm done with mine once that I'm done I'll just cut it off and I'm gonna use my needle to help me you can finish how you want it to but I like this way I'm pretty much trying to get this yarn from this side to come here so I can tie them together Instead of tie in two different knots, I want to tie them together. Make sure to tie them really tight so it doesn't come off. 
to that you just cut it off and there we have one flower already I made this I, I went too far it's okay and now we're gonna make the second one you're gonna just do the same thing pretty much going around the circle with a new yarn all right so i'm starting my second one which is gonna be right in the middle here so i will try not to touch the buttons stay away from the button but I'll just let me look at it so the buttons like right here so i try to stay away from the button not too close to it all right this one's gonna be short always remember to come back to the center the middle now always make sure that you're not sewing the far against the other side so just make sure check as you go Let's see. Oh, I think I did it okay. I could come a little bit down, but I was afraid I'm gonna hit the button, so I think mine is okay. So now I'm gonna do the sec the last one. So you continue and do the last one, and then I'll show you mine when I finish the last flower. So this is what mine look like when I finish it, my flower bag. Um, I think it looks pretty good, but I hope you guys turn out well too. And this is pretty much how I make the flower bag and the strawberry bag. So I hope you guys have a fun time making it. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. And I'll see you guys next time. <music>